All right, let's fucking get this over with. Fifty Shades of Grey is a 2015 film based off of the popular first book of the Fifty Shades series, which is basically just Twilight erotica slash fanfiction with names changed. Anastasia Steele, a college graduate, begins a sadomasochistic... Uh, I think I... Did I say that right? Yeah, whatever. Um, that kind of relationship with a young business, business magnate, uh, Christian Grey. And for those of you who don't know what BDSM is, or what uh, sadomasochist is, um, sadomasochists are into BDSM, I didn't say that right, and BDSM is the use of pain and items like whips for sexual pleasure. I'm not gonna waste your time with this, with this review, so I'm gonna go as quick as I can. So, I actually didn't rewatch this recently. What I did was, um, I just thought back to how I felt about it when I watched it. Back when I was in San Antonio, uh, right after I got out of high school, I was there, uh, you know, getting job training and everything, and I was, I had my own room in, in a sort of dorm, and I had nothing else to do during the weekends, so what I would periodically do was I'd run down to the nearest store with a red box, and I'd just start renting a lot of movies. And I was starting to run out of them because they weren't coming so quickly. So the one of the last days that I did, I had gotten the Lego movie and Fifty Shades of Grey. I watched the Lego movie first, and for those of you who've seen my review, you know that I adore that movie. But I will go ahead and say, I should have watched Lego movie last because something good would have happened after I watched Fifty Shades of Grey. And... I watched Fifty Shades of Grey because I wanted to keep an open mind, just see what it was about, what all the hype was. The performances in this film are shit. <clears throat> the characters are written terribly. Shit. But, as far as characters, none of them are as bad as Anastasia Steele, which, by the way, that's a fucking stupid name. She is a very weak character, and... I feel like I'm rehashing everything that I said in my Unforgettable review, but she's a woman who relies solely on her man for a, as a plot device and just to have a fucking personality. Hell, even when she's ha even when she's having a BDSM session with Christian, you know that she's not having fun. You can tell from her face, and she there's even times where she says that she's not having fun. But she does it anyway just because it'll make her man happy. Fuck off! And it's a shame because I've heard that Dakota Johnson is not a bad actress. Somebody in the comments section down below, tell me a movie where she's actually good. Because until I see it, I'm not gonna believe it! The film is basically a porno but with an actual focus on story. Something that true pornos could care less about because they know nobody watches porn for their gripping narratives. And it's just, it's a terrible story. We have this uninteresting and bland girl who meets this mysterious man who uh, learns about his strange obsession and then Bella becomes entranced by him and Edward keeps telling Bella that she, that she can't be with him because it's not right, it's too dangerous. He's not the right guy for... Wait a minute. Did I just say Edward and Bella? Huh. <laughs> My mind interpreted the ripped off story points from Twilight. And actually, now that I come to think of it, Anastasia has a friend named Jose who likes her, and that creates a, f a sort of love triangle. That's fucking Jacob! Why in God's living fucking earth was this book, or these books even published? I swear to God. E.L. James, you have a spot ready for you in hell. Now, for the sex scenes. They're there. The only thing I, I would actually say is that this is a rated R movie. They're actually pretty racy. Like, I'm honestly surprised that they didn't just slap an NC-17 rating on them. And because... If that movie came out around the same time as A Clockwork Orange, it would have gotten an X rating, which is basically the same version, or was basically that version, or that Times version of NC-17. See? I'm so frustrated with this movie, I can't even think straight. Then again, I can never usually think straight. Or speak.
right? I can say two good things about this film. Uh, the first is that it's shot surprisingly well, but the way that I see it, if you polish a turd, sure it's shiny and pretty, but it's still a goddamn turd. And secondly, a couple, uh, actually a couple of the songs from the soundtrack aren't bad, although I do actually really love uh, Ellie Goulding's Love Me Like You Do. I just, I, I love Ellie Goulding. I am going to give Fifty Shades of Grey a .5 out of 5 reels. And just like Pan, I think it deserves lower, but I'm fair, because a film like this does not deserve cinematography of that level. Please, uh, please subscribe for more reviews and content. Uh, I want to turn to you guys, just tell me down in the comments section, what movies do you guys want me to review? Just, I need something... I need something that doesn't make me want to just kill. And don't expect me to buy or, or go out and buy or rent every film requested. This is a hobby for the time being. I don't get paid for this. Although, if you guys are willing to help me, then I'll be willing to watch whatever you guys want. Just um, go in the description down below and you'll find the link to my Patreon page and a few little extra things to explain what to do there, just... Please, I, I could really... I would really enjoy the help, and it would help me get out more reviews more quickly. And... I'm gonna go lay down. Okay, well, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and just listening to me ramble and beg for your money. <laughs> Farewell, until the next video. Bye.